earlier you diagnose respiratory disease as better to be targeted in treatment. And we are still not really good in, in this. So we need to develop new diagnostic methods which are highly sensitive. We now have targeted treatments, precise medicine for patients suffering from severe asthma. And this is a real step forward. However, these new drugs, because they are only developed for a small number of patients are very expensive. And the question in the future will be who pays the bill what we need in the future is vaccines which are more immunogenic. Everything we tried with new adjuvants, higher dosages, uh, was not so effective. However, there is a good pipeline to overcome this problem. The second uh, uh, issue is much more important and it's something we must act as European Respiratory Society and this is that even there are vaccines and even the vaccines are effective, people are not vaccinated. And there is more concern about vaccination than ever before. If you go to Google and you use the term vaccination, the first 12 pages are all from enemies against vaccination. If you ask people what they want for their life, they will uh, rank health uh, at number one or number two every time. But research budget in the EU for so-called life sciences, which includes medicine, is about 6% of the whole research budget. And re research budget for respiratory diseases is not 10% of that. What I want to uh, focus on and, and want to show for uh, politics and uh, uh, the public is lung diseases are important. Uh, it's worth to invest into research for lung disease. It's a huge amount of healthcare costs and a huge number of patients and we should move forward with more funding into this direction.